Hello Aries, welcome to our tarot reading for June 2022. Now, before we start our uh, reading, let us get some short, uh, short uh, description of Aries. Okay, here it goes. The first sign of the zodiac, Aries loves to be number one. Naturally, this dynamic fire sign is no stranger to competition. Bold and ambitious, Aries dives headfirst into even the most challenging situations. And they'll make sure they always come on the top. Very nice description. We will have a link of this description in our description box. Uh, you can check it out if you are interested. Okay, so uh, the Aries sign in the major arcana is the emperor. Okay, when you look at the emperor, he is always ready to go. You see him; he's a, he's really a a, a a one who is ready for competition. You see him wearing armor. He's always uh, he's already he's wearing armor right now. Uh, he's not wearing comfortable clothes. There might be this regal cloth on top, but underneath that regal cloth clothing is our armors. No, so he's ready to jump into action anytime if there is any danger he would immediately jump into action and is ready to fight okay at the same time when i look at this picture i look at the emperor as a person who has very good boundaries you know, he is able to defend himself he can protect himself in such a way if you see somebody with an armor like that and with a stance like this as if anytime he can stand up and rush towards you then you will be you will have second thoughts before you try to do anything uh, fishy, okay? At the same time, you look at him, he has this kind of discerning look. He is looking at you sideways, no? So he's sizing up things, no? So he doesn't e immediately rush at things. He analyzes things. They say that he he's the one who's ready to go to action, yes, but at the same time, even if he's fast, no? He immediately does the action or goes into action at the same time, he does not sacrifice this part of discernment. He discerns. I mean, while uh, when somebody enters the room, he immediately sizes up the person. And if there's a need for him to jump into action, he will do it. So this is a person who is very active, not only when he is in action, but uh, also when he is sitting down. He is an... I feel that this is the type of person who analyzes things even when he is quietly sitting down he's observing things no and here you see the 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 horn uh, the the creature with horns so this is the uh, tau uh, aries no this this can symbolize the aries sign it's in his throne and you see him he's a little bit austere no there are no decorations around him uh, everything is made of 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 stone even the background you don't see trees you see stones, no, mountains, everything. So, uh, yeah, uh, shows toughness for me. This symbolizes toughness, no, and strength also. So, uh, yeah, not much of the frivolous things, no. Uh, Aries is always ready to go into action, and he's austere, very simple, no. And I think he is capable of of uh, surviving any any situation you place him in. Quite a good picture we see here now uh, we will try to read your tarot in a uh, an extraordinary way, way right now we will not do the conventional things no the thing we will call this uh, follow the emperor now the emperor moves very fast because Aries is very quick to action no we will hide the emperor here okay and then we will try to follow him it means that we will have to rush and look for the emperor or else we will not find him because he moves very fast <laughs> okay once we catch the emperor we will get the cards four cards before him and four cards after him and this will be the story that the emperor will tell us okay so we will shuffle it maybe four times this is the first shuffling and then actually it's like shuffling it eight times because we do it twice before we cut them so this is the second cutting. Uh -huh. Makes me think of ribbon cutting. 
I don't know, suddenly it came to me. Uh, if you did some ribbon cutting today, then maybe this message is for you. Suddenly that element of ribbon cutting came to me. And uh, then the sun is shining here. Yeah. It's uh, So this is the third one. Okay, finally one more. And then we will search for the emperor. Now, uh, here on the four corners, we have the Archangel Oracle cards. We have the uh, Shaman's Dream Oracle. And then we have here the Cosmic Reading cards and the Archangel Animal Oracle decks. No, so we, this will be our, uh, they will give us the messages from the universe. Okay, now let us follow the Emperor. Okay, where is the Emperor? Emperor moves very fast. I hope we can move faster than the Emperor. Let's see. Oh, still cannot find the Emperor. Mm -hmm. You know, this, this type of approach is like the, that of a, this is one of the way to read the Keeper cards, you know. Uh, oh, Aha, we are fast. We found the Emperor. We put the Emperor in the middle. We get the four cards before him. Okay. And then four cards after him. And ask him to tell us the story. Wait. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I had second thoughts that I might have made a mistake. Okay, anyway. Uh, we will arrange it in such a way so that you can see everything. I hope it's enough for you guys to see everything. Okay, so this, this will be your recent past. This is your present situation and this will be your proximate future. Okay, very interesting story. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, so uh, first in your recent past, it seems that you just underwent some battle. And because of that battle, you had to secure yourself. You started making a fence. You know? And you didn't just make a fence. You created a fence made of trees, <laughs> tree saplings. You placed those trunks and somehow it is benefiting you because it's starting to grow so it means that it will protect you even more but at the same time you will benefit from it but you are wounded and so you are very guarded you have this this sideways look like the emperor the emperor is uh, seasoned with uh, war seasoned and this one is also a war veteran because he has been wounded in a war so uh, it's like it's as if you have had uh, some difficult situation in the past but you you survived you survived but you are very guarded so you don't easily do it but uh, at the same time it's as if that you are tired of the war you just wanted to retire and so you started planting trees you started working on something you're tired of of uh, the situation that you were in the past and so you started investing on something and it seems that you had an inspiration you were looking at this star so it seems that you have an inspiration right now and you started working on that you see the land is already tilled you know and you have the workhorse ready to function so you are on the process of beginning a new venture and uh, you are already preparing everything and it seems that yeah after all the war things are getting better for you i don't know maybe some of you have just settled down and it's a very happy family situation for you. You feel the providence of the divine. It seems that after all these struggles that you had, the divine uh, gave you a gift of a happy family life. You know? And uh, for those of you who, st who are still happily single, you, know, you are happily single at this time, uh, at the recent past. You know? So at the recent past, it seems that you have something promising. You know? Uh, a promising career is beginning after a struggle that you had at the same time uh, if you have a family it's a happy family you have a happy family life you're you are also beginning in your life you see here there's a small house no the house is not yet big so you are still beginning but you see the the possibilities so if it is something also you are beginning as a single person it seems that you are just beginning a, a new you're, you're having a new beginning a new beginning that is bright and shiny and promising. So this is the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. So this was your recent past. Okay, 
So in the present situation, you are wiser now. You are wiser, you anticipate things, and you always you always know how to win. Maybe it's because you are battle seasoned already. And you are more cautious, you are able to anticipate things, so you you often win. You are often in the winning side because of the experience you've had in the past and you can easily size people up because of your battle experience. And so, yeah, oftentimes, uh, at this present time, you are usually the winner when it comes to situations. At the same time, yes, you have become the emperor who is very discerning about things, no? And is ready to go into action if you need. However, you are also you have also evolved to a point where you are able to balance things. You've seen the the shady parts of life and the beautiful side of life. And so you realize that it's very important to have this certain balance. Actually, uh, when your life when you are able to balance things, life becomes easier, less burdensome. You see here. Uh, one of your toe is dipped into the water and the other one is touching the ground. So you are practical and grounded, a practical and grounded person, but at the same time, you are a spiritual person also. You are in touch with your inner self and you are able to balance your cups. You are able to give attention to the different aspects of your life, whether it be relationship, family or career. You are able to make a good balance with them and you are a very discerning person you see here you are studying very well how to balance everything and because of that yeah things are beginning to flourish so you are beginning things and you hear you see here a uh, uh, wings and then there's the you know this sign of triangle can symbolize as the trinity the trinity in the catholic in the christian faith no the the father the son and the spirit no so when you see here yeah uh, the Trinity is three persons in one. It means that all are contributing and are, a, are in a balance. Each one live in harmony. So it's like right now your life is in harmony. You are able to balance things. And with this one, with this sign and with the sign of the uh, wings of the angel, it means that your life is also uh, immersed in the presence of the divine or the spirit. And it is a beautiful thing. So you are stable right now. No? And you are uh, very, very discerning. Uh, but then in the near future, you know, uh, after all the success that you had, you are looking back and uh, I don't know, some, somehow I have this feeling that you, in the near future, after all the success that you had, you will be in a in a situation or in a point where you're going to look back to the results of all your effort you see here at this at the recent past you were just tilling the land and this is what you plan to have uh, to plant this this pentacle no? in the night of pentacles and here in the in the near future these pentacles will flourish and the land that you tilled will be filled with herbage you no know? And it means so it means that what you have planned will become successful but you will come to a point when you will be discerning you will be looking back and asking your question if you should continue with this kind of venture I don't know I some of you might even think that if you had you might discern if you had made the right decision or no because for some of you when you look at it they will be looking back at the past and they will look at it as wasted time I don't know why it seems that when you look at the past you might have some regrets that you made this choice for some of you, you no know? and the universe will be giving you something new this situation in the near future might lead to a tower moment another closing of another chapter it's I don't know it can be that for some of you because of this one, you immediately try to find something to make you feel secure. So maybe it's just a stage towards something else. Because at that 
recent past, I somehow have the feeling that you had to do this one to get this one because this is the one that would make you feel secure from the situation. And maybe in the near future, you will be in a different situation and somehow you will outgrow already whatever you have started to do. You know how, how a person grows when uh, at this time, whatever you're doing right now is very fulfilling. But for some of you in the near future, you will no longer be satisfied with this one. And uh, yeah, for some of you, there might even be regret. Why did I chose this one thing? I am not happy with this one. But the problem is if you will dwell with feeling sorry for having made that decision, which was helpful for you at the first, at the beginning of that moment, because at that moment you just finished a war and you were this was your consolation so at that moment that is what you needed now you are going to a new stage where you will have a tower moment and then you will maybe for some of you you will realize that this is no longer the situation that you would want to be in so there is a possibility that for some of you in the near future you will be closing whatever you are very much engrossed right now and you will be choosing a new endeavor but uh, there is a tendency, there is a possibility that you might feel sorry that you made a decision. Uh, I feel you shouldn't, f I mean, uh, uh, my feeling is that you shouldn't feel sorry that you made this choice. Because the choices that we make at that time was the best choice that we can at the situation we were. So it was the best choice at that situation. Now your situation might change in the future and it will no longer be usable for you. So it's like, uh, you know how it is when, when uh, you are a child and your mother buys you a new clothes when you, for example, you are about four years old and your mother buys you this attractive uh, Batman outfit, okay? And you like it very much and it fits you well. But then when you became nine years old, you cannot wear anymore that Batman, Batman outfit because it's too short already. What used to be like a pants, becomes like a shorts, uh, like a pair of shorts, okay? So, so you realize, uh, you look strange wearing that kind of clothing. Uh, so you already outgrew the clothing and it's time for you to change. But I don't think that is uh, uh, something that you should regret because at that time, that was what you needed and that was what you wanted. It's just that you have grown to a stage where you had to already close the chapter and undergo this tower moment. The tower moment is, yeah, if you will continue on this indecision, which is the seven of pentacles, then the universe will be moving for you. <laughs> I feel that is what will happen. They will give you a tower moment so that you will le leave this behind because that is no longer uh, what you need at this time. And they are offering you two new cups. All you have to do is to turn about and to see this new gift that the universe is giving you. I, so if this resonates with you, then uh, I'm happy. If this resonates with you, then maybe this is what you should see. Uh, I feel that the invitation for you is not to regret your past. It's part of your life journey. If you need to make a change, then go make the change. It's close the chapter. This can also symbolize the closing of a chapter. You are closing the chapter of transition. Uh, after this one, you underwent transition and now you are going to another chapter in your life. So just accept the change. Okay, now let us see what is the message of the universe for you. Dear Aries. Okay, dear Aries, this is the message from the universe. Okay, counselor. Okay. You are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. Yes, I believe you are. Because this one is not very easy. And I know that you will not be the only one who will encounter some challenges in life. The wisdom that you've gained through the experience that you've had in the past and the wisdom that you've gained in how to recover and reach to the stage where you are about to close another chapter in the near future because you have a new chapter to learn. This richness of your experience can help other people who will be undergoing the same things that you have undergone. 
uh, when they see you made it through the rain then they will have the courage to make it also through the rain so i made it through the rain i suddenly started singing of this song i kept myself protected ah barry manilo so uh for those of you who are listening right now in the radio and if you hear that song being sung right now then maybe this reading is for you or if that is your favorite song or you suddenly also something about raining maybe it's raining right now in your place or maybe you are walking and suddenly it rained and you have you have to run out of the rain <laughs> then maybe this reading is for you okay sorry i didn't mean to to laugh no it's just that make me think of i'm singing in the rain okay sometimes you can enjoy uh, i i enjoy walking under the rain also i when i when i was a child i would usually escape when it's raining i us usually escape and 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 enjoy play in the mud puddles no so it's like that okay that's devil moving out of stagnation okay this is very very aries no uh if you feel stagnated if you will feel stagnated in the near future but at this time i think you are very excited no you, you, you actually you are guarded no you are but you, you at this time you are happy at this present time you're happy so if ever in the near future you will come to the point when you are feeling stagnant already be like the dust devil <laughs> i remember this cartoon of uh, uh the looney tunes no this this uh uh Tasmanian devil. He's like this dust devil. He goes goes around. No, he spins around and something like that. No. So when you feel that you're already at this point, then it's time for you to set into action. No, or else the tower. There will be a tower moment that the the universe will set into action. So if you're not happy with this one, turn around and take the new cups. Okay. Hmm. Easy, easier said than done. No. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's easier said than done. Well. Uh, don't worry it's part of life life has uh, open it's always opening a new chapter and closing another one uh, but every time we close and open a new chapter we learn new things and these things that we learn we can share to the rest of the world that's why the more experiences you have it makes you a better counselor transformation okay very nice you see in the recent past you underwent transformation at your present time, you are undergoing transformation. And it seems in the near future, you will still be undergoing transformation. Now, this for me is a positive reading. I mean, it means you are constantly growing. It means that you are constantly deepening your spiritual life. You are constantly becoming a wiser person every day. It's a positive thing. You know? Okay, finally, what is our spirit animal for today? okay let's see who will be our spirit animal oh the dolphin okay you see ah the dolphins is the dolphins are very playful okay and they're also very friendly uh they're also very intelligent uh, very much like the discerning aries no very much like you you're always in action you're always jumping and up and you you the beautiful thing the thing that comes into my mind right now is a person who is like here in the picture the temperance you know someone who, someone who's in touch with the inner world and at the same time is grounded to reality you know the dolphins they would dive under the water which is like going into your uh, contemplation or go, uh, spending time in your inner world and then suddenly they would jump up to the surface with energy and produce so it's produced this cheerful sound so it's as if they recharge themselves by going underneath to, uh, to into their inner life and then suddenly they will jump out full of energy full of sounds full of exuberance you no know? uh, like being grounded into the world you know? they are very much in touch with the reality the present moment and they are enjoy every single they are en really enjoying every single moment so they are able to have this uh, character of the temperance wherein they continue to have this inner life and then at the same time they are also in touch with reality so the dolphins are going that go there are moments they would go under the water and moments going up no and uh, they have this sonar the ability to locate things you they will find their way even in the widest oceans no they always find their way so whatever challenges you will encounter in the near future if you are no longer 
uh, satisfied with the situation, if you feel that you are already in a stagnation, you will know what to do next. And the universe will teach you. Anyway, you are in touch with your inner life, so you will find your way. Your sonar is your constant journey to your inner world, your prayer life, your contemplative life, your contemplation. This will keep you guided. You see here, the head of this dolphin is in touch with the stars. Now the stars has this ray that goes to the head of the dolphin. Can you see that? So it means that the dolphin is in touch with the spirit and with the divine. And here they find also strength from the cosmos, from the universe. They find energy. The cosmos is looking upon them with kindness. And there's also this, the heart chakra is glowing. So they are compassionate also. Maybe it's because they have had these past experiences. And maybe that is also the secret why they are good counselors. It's because of the compassion that they have. Uh, the deeper they become, the more empathic they become. And the more better or the more effective counselors they become. Now, the, now I find myself looking at the message. Live joyfully in the present. Okay, so try not to worry about the future. Just live for the moment right now. When the future comes, you will know what to do. Just allow the, the, the at this present time, just enjoy the moment, uh, go with the flow, enjoy the journey, allow the spirit to guide you. Everything is fine. There is a progression. Every moment you are improving, every moment you are learning, every moment you are deepening in your inner life. No. So continue the journey and live joyfully in the present. Okay, so forget the past close this chapter don't worry about this one i remember what uh what i what uh, dale carnegie once wrote in the book you no know, he said live in daytight compartments it's like a submarine when a, the com the submarine has a lot of compartments when uh a water leaks inside the submarine all these compartments closed you no know? uh, they say that so that you will not worry too much about the future or being troubled by your past experiences. You just live by the day. Uh, even Jesus said, uh, the worries of today is enough for you. Just face the challenges for today. Don't worry about the future. Face it when it comes. About the past, entrust it to the divine and try to learn from the experience and then move forward. Look at it as a wonderful experience and uh, be grateful of all the blessings that you have. These beautiful blessings that the Divine has given you. For those of you who have this loving family relationship or, excuse me. See, it seems like the, even the cell phone was confirming it. Yes, yes, yes. So if you have this loving family relationship, be grateful for it. No, it's like they're saying, yes. Be grateful of the beautiful things that the universe or the Divine is giving you. The Spirit has given you. Uh, count your blessings instead of sheep before you sleep count your blessings instead of sheep be grateful live for the moment cherish this moment cherish your loved ones if you are single cherish being happily single you know, and uh, live by the present joyfully well that's it for now i hope that this resonates to most of you and uh, take what resonates with you and uh, uh, this is also a time, well, even if it's dated for June 2022, sometimes the Lord leads you to such videos because you needed it at this very moment. So even if uh, some videos are dated, if you find yourself looking at it and it resonates with you, then that message is for you. Okay, well, thank you very much, Aries. Until, uh, may you have a great day and until the next reading. God bless all of you.